So we're going to start with a new XSL 1.0 and we're going to type in a default template XSL template match equals forward slash okay and just to get started I'm going to type this is a test okay now I'll review how you link a, a transform that's what we oh let me save this and I'm going to save it as what we want it to be complex BC resorts XSL and yes I'll replace the one that I was playing with earlier okay now I want to link this XSL file to this XML file right so I'm going to do that through this little button here let me get rid of the one that I just made and make it again uh, it's going to be called complex BC resort it's called a scenario it's already got the XML file um, listed in there now I'm going to select the XSL file to put in here in output I want to save the file as uh, let me just select it here instead of complex BC resort HTM and yes I want to replace the one that already exists and I want to open that in the browser and I'm going to keep looking at it in the browser over and over again until I get just the way I want it okay now before I hit transform now think about what's going to come out you might even want to stop the recording what's going to come out when I hit transform now what's going to come out is just that much this is a test right that's all that I've got so far in my transform so that's all I'm going to get on my web page here's my transform regardless of what's in the instance there could be lots of things in the instance but there's nothing being pulled from the instance just the words this is a test so the transform even though it's applied to this instance with lots of information is only producing a very small sentence so the question is what goes in here and the answer is inside my starter file this is a full web page right head body HTML one full big fat web page and I'm going to take that whole big fat web page, copy it out of here, paste it into my XSL into my XSL page, just like that. So that entire HTML page is jammed right in the middle of my transform. Okay? Let me save that transform. Now when I run the transform, what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? I'm gonna get the whole web page, right? I'm not doing anything. I'm still not pulling anything out of my XML file, and I'm getting this full web page. Why? Because I pasted that full web page into the XML file, into the XSL file, and all the XSL file is doing here, here it is right here, is pushing out all of that HTML and sticking it into a file. Right? So I haven't done anything. This is exactly like the, the, the this is the test one, only I'm using a bunch of HTML now instead of just using a flat sentence. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to begin to I have to begin to work with this HTML file and separate the let me close up some of these things that we don't care about. Separate the content that I'm going to pull from the XML file from the uh, from the structure of the file and I'll spend a lot of time clicking around through here trying to figure out what the structure is, re recognizing that these divs are the main thing that creates the structure and trying to figure out what things are going to be um, uh, left behind and what things are going to be replaced by XSL commands and so to begin I'm just going to make sure that I have let me go down to this H1 right here I'm just going to make sure that I know what's going on I'm going to say resort notice no XSL just yet I'm just trying to say oh in that British Columbia that's the title of the site I'm just putting in some placeholders here so I can convince myself that I know what's going on and that I can that the changes that I make to the XSL are going to show up in the XML right so I took out some of the content I put in placeholders later there'll be XML things but right now I mean XSL things but right now they're just text placeholders now I'm going to run this transform again and what am I going to see notice the title up here and notice now it's replaced by what I put in there now I know that if I put it the right XSL command in here I'll get the right resort title and the right site title in there okay so I'm ready to start doing the real work let me go back over to the XSL and the question that I now have to deal with is how am I going to get just the right information from just the right resort into this into this um, transform 
and to do that recall the process of passing parameters using a tag or using an attribute on the root tag so we had a topic about this and I explained it but let me let me briefly review it here we're going to pull the value of that cur resort attribute into our transform put it in a variable and use that value to select the correct resort Okay, so you may very well have no idea how to start that from scratch, but in this exercise, you don't have to start from scratch. You got all the commands right here. And if you look at these commands, the very first two are doing exactly what I just described. This one takes the cur resort attribute, puts it in a variable. This one selects the resort whose ID is that cur ID. In our case, that's BCO1. So let me grab these two commands. These are the first two commands that I'm going to paste into my XSL. Let me paste them right up here at the top until I can figure out what to do with them. Um, and now the question is, how much of this HTML file, this HTML thing, am I going to do for each resort? And the easy answer is, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do that entire HTML block, right? There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm going to do that whole thing for the resort. I want to I want to create this page for BCO1 for that Apex resort. And so I'm going to wrap the entire HTML page inside of that resort. Okay, so before I go any further, let me save this guy and let me run it again and confirm that I haven't broken anything. And that's the main thing that I'm doing when I keep running these transforms is just to confirm that I haven't broken everything and that what I think is going to happen actually will happen. Okay, so there we go. It found BCO1, right? If it didn't find BCO1, what would it have put out? Nothing, right? So it found BCO1, and so we're okay so far. All right, so now I can begin to put in some of the replace my some of my placeholders with actual tags. So I'm I do a for each, and I'm on the resort tag. That means the resort tag is my current tag, coming down here to my placeholder, getting to the title of the resort. If I'm on the resort where's the title if I'm on the resort where's the title it's the next level child so it's really easy to figure out what to put in here I type XSL I'm sorry XSL value of title now the site title let me go back up and figure out where the site title is now I'm on the resort right now I can use an absolute path and I can say whack BC snow whack title so let me grab BC snow here and for the site title I'm going to go XSL value of whack BC snow whack title just like that okay save this confirm that it's gonna that it's gonna run and that it's gonna actually find those titles and there we go got the title of the of the resort also got the title of the site okay so now I'm on my way now what I have to do from here, back over to here, is I have to continue down through here, finding the things that are, um, finding the things that are content, and replacing them with XSL commands. And the XSL commands, the hard ones anyway, are going to be right here. So I might look at this, for example, and say, okay, what's this doing? Select description P for each selection description P. Oh, what am I going to do for each description P? Description P. Description P. Oh, I see. That's the description of the resort. So maybe I need to go back over here, back over to my XSL file, find the description of the resort. This is the tagline. Oh, I got that one. Right? This is easy. This is XSL value of tagline. And maybe now all well, this stuff down here, that's all the description. Right? And I can always go back to the, uh, let's see, all the way back all the way down here to that div. That's all the description. Kill that and put in oops, just a placeholder. Now before I go any further, save this, run it again just to make sure that I know what I'm doing, right? And I'm not taking a wrong trail here. And there it is. A diverse selection of bowls and then description. So now I have to figure out what XSL to put in here to make this happen. Okay, well that's just about enough of a starter, I think, to get you going. And um, I hope that now that now that you've seen this, you can you can do this exercise and uh, and burn your way right through.